Hi everyone, Evan here at the Macronicle for April 30th, 2020, where the future starts today. Funny enough, the date I'm filming this video leads us right into the first story. This is from CNBC. Wells Fargo announces today, April 30th, will be the last day you can apply for a HELOC. Now funny enough, in the US, they aren't the first bank to go ahead and do this. JP Morgan Chase stopped issuing HELOCs a couple of weeks ago. Now in the email they put out to employees, I'm going to read part of it out to you, it was in the article also, and tell me if Wells Fargo believes this is going to be a V-shaped recovery. Our decision reflects careful consideration of current market conditions and the uncertainty around the timing and scope of the anticipated economic recovery. Folks, that doesn't tell me V-shaped recovery. Now while we're at it, I'm going to mention it here quick because I know it will come up in the comments. What do I think is going to happen with HELOCs in Canada? Well, Ben Rabideau mentioned on a recent Debt Free and 30 podcast with Doug Hoyes that with HELOCs in Canada, either A, your unused HELOC amount is going to be taken away. So let's say you're given access to an $100,000 HELOC. You've taken out $50,000, have $50,000 that's unused. What I'm referring to is that unused amount of $50,000 will be taken away. And or, they're gonna amortize your HELOC, AKA turn your HELOC into a typical mortgage. What do I think's gonna happen? The first thing that's gonna happen, either right away or soon thereafterwards, that unused HELOC amount is gonna be taken away, and then second, they'll amortize it. That's what I think's gonna happen. What do you think? Leave it in the comments down below. Now to summarize all this, what's happening with HELOCs both in Canada and the US is what happens when you have an unemployment spike. I've been mentioning on this channel here for months to watch unemployment like a hawk. Now, of course, largely because of the economic shutdowns from the virus, unemployment has seen a big spike. When this happens and they don't anticipate a V-shaped recovery that no lender really actually does, they now have to factor in a higher risk, you won't be able to make your payments. Essentially, it's a repricing of risk and a tightening of lending standards because of the unemployment spike. That's all that's going on here. Enough on that. And the last story I'm going to cover today, this is in regards to the Canadian GDP report for February. Now it says here the number was flat month over month and up 2.1% year over year. But consider this. One, February 2019 was quote unquote unusually very weak, so it's coming off a low base anyways. And two, as I said in my February jobs report recap, the later and later you got in February, the worse and worse the economy got. And then of course in the middle of March, we had the virus related shutdowns and the big unemployment spike, the massive, massive, massive downturn in the economy because of that. And before we go, I'll just make this one point. Whether it was because of the virus, or as I predicted in my 2020 predictions video in the fourth quarter of 2020, the Canadian economy, the global economy, was headed into recession anyhow. Okay? I'll just go ahead and leave it there. Smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe, follow both my accounts on Twitter, and as always, my name is Evan, this is the Macronicle, where that future starts today.